In the past year Charlene's ongoing health battle has made headlines. The princess was grounded in her native South Africa for six months with a medical emergency, and upon returning home was admitted to a treatment facility outside Monaco. Last month her husband Prince Albert admitted that Charlene had been suffering with profound exhaustion, both emotional and physical. Though remaining coy on specifics, Albert added, her return went pretty well in the first few hours and then it became pretty evident she was unwell. She was overwhelmed and couldn't face official duties, life in general or even family life. The prince added, in his interview with People magazine, she has lost a lot of weight, which made her vulnerable to other potential ailments. A cold or the flu or, God help us, COVID. Charlene married into royal life, having previously represented South Africa in the 100-meter medley relay at the Sydney Olympics in 000. She met Albert the same year at the Mare Nostrum swimming competition in Monte Carlo, Monaco and ultimately married the prince in July 011. In a November 010 Tatler interview, months before Charlene became Princess of Monaco, she opened up about her royal encounters and the trials of living in the principality. She was also full of praise for Harry, who she had met at a polo match that year. Charlene said, I met Harry at a polo match in July. What an incredible, I'm really hoping I get to know him better. Charlene also spoke out about the loneliness she had encountered since moving to glittering Monaco from South Africa. The former backstroke swimmer said, the people I mixed with in Monaco didn't relate to my South African mentality or humor. Of course, I've been subject to jealousy, but that comes with the territory. Although I have met some wonderful people since I've been living in Monaco, I regard them all as acquaintances. I only have two people I consider. Charlene had been living in Monaco for four years at the time of the interview, while she had also failed to fully settle into royal life almost a decade later. In 019 Charlene spoke about how she often felt homesick and couldn't help but appear sad in photograph. The Princess of Monaco was speaking during a difficult year which saw her father undergo surgery in South Africa and two of her friends pass away in just 10 days. Speaking to South African magazine Huiz Genoot, Charlene said, People are very quick to say, Oh, why isn't she smiling in the photos? Well sometimes it's very hard to, they don't know what is going on in the back. She added, I have the privilege of having this life, but I miss my family and friends in South Africa and I'm often sad because I cannot always be there for them.